Howdy folks, Bob Warfield here. I'm here making this video to give you a quick walkthrough of our CAD CAM wizards, a feature of our G-Wizard Machinist calculator. First, let's talk about what beginners and experts can get out of CAD CAM wizards. What problem do they solve? If you're a beginner, at least some of these issues probably look familiar. You're dealing with a steep learning curve, lots of jargon, and to make matters worse, the math used for feeds and speeds is not very intuitive. You can't really figure it out without a lot of calculating or a lot of help from a program like GWizard. We have a free feeds and speeds course to help you with the jargon and to remind you that four fluid end mills can only be used with aluminum in certain circumstances, but it's still hard. In the end, machinists use feeds and speeds calculators to help them answer the questions their CAM software needs them to answer before it will give them any G-code. That's an important insight. It's all about getting to the next stage. A feed and speed uh, combination just by itself is not really all that useful. You need all of the information that your CAM software needs in order to perform the machining operation. How about the experts? Well, they understand all the jargon, so their issue isn't getting a cutter to cut. Instead, their issue is being competitive. Manufacturing is a hotly contested industry. Every improvement you can make to your efficiency means more jobs you can win and more profit to the bottom line. I've had folks tell me that they paid for G-Wizard on the very first job they used it for, um, so we can help with that. Rules of thumb are great, but just surviving the cut is not a way to be competitive. G-Wizard considers over 50 different variables in its calculation and uses a state-of-the-art engine to give you the best possible feeds and speeds. But what's even more powerful is that our new CAD CAM wizard takes these powerful engine algorithms and considers over a thousand different cases, a thousand different combination combinations of the different variables before choosing the one that delivers the highest material removal rates. That's something nobody can afford to do manually. You've got to automate the process. And that's what CAD CAM Wizard does. Here's another area where speed and simplicity matter, and that's doing your cost estimates. You have to go through a lot of them quickly and accurately for every bid you win. And of course, even the experts still need to answer their CAM software's questions before they can produce G-code. Let's see how the CAD CAM wizards can help. So here's our G-Wizard calculator. Um, and here's what sort of the original flavor feeds and speeds look like. Um, what you see is familiar to most experts. Perhaps it's a little mystifying or intimidating to beginners. G-Wizard is the most powerful speeds and feeds calculator available and has a number of different features nobody else has. But like every other way of approaching feeds and speeds, it's a little bit down in the weeds. There's all of this detail that you have to get through before you get to a good feeds and speeds answer. And it wants you to answer a whole ton of different questions before it'll give you back what you want. Now let's take a look at CAD CAM Wizard. CAD CAM Wizard is a higher level approach to the problem. It's much more focused on the way your CAM software works. There's a lot less clutter and a lot fewer questions to answer before you get results. Instead of presenting all the choices and expecting you to decide, CAD CAM Wizard uses an expert system and some very fancy software algorithms to figure out the best answers for you. This is a pocketing operation I'm showing here where it's going to cut a cavity in the top of the workpiece. Let's go from top to bottom to see what questions it needs to ask and how it answers. At the top, we need to know about your machine and about the material you'll be machining. You just choose them from lists. Next is the row of tabs that select the individual CAD CAM wizards. Each one corresponds to an operation pocketing, 2D profiling, 3D surfacing, face milling, drilling holes, that's just like the same stuff your CAM software has. In fact, 
we've spent a lot of time thinking about how to make this work like your CAM software so it's familiar and goes directly to your problem of getting the CAM program's questions answered as quickly as possible. Below the operation tabs is an area that's marked inputs. This is all you have to fill in to get an answer. For pocketing, we need to know the depth of the pocket and we need to know the minimum corner radius these corners within the pocket. Optionally, if you would like to generate time estimates uh, for the whole thing, you can tell it either the XY extents or the volume and perimeter of the pocket. You can get that volume and perimeter information very easily from your CAD software and it'll be very accurate if you get it from CAD. Now given that information, CAD CAM Wizard will give you a complete recipe for the machining operations and that appears down here. You can see that there's a roughing pass, cut depth, cut width, RPM, feed rate, stick out. All of this was chosen by CAD CAM Wizard for you in order to optimize the material removal rates and give you the best possible cut. Now you can modify these operations in a variety of ways. We provide what we call our tortoise hair slider so that you can tell the CAD CAM wizard exactly how conservative or aggressive you'd like to be. You can modify our tool choices. CAD CAM wizard recommends the best tool for you to use and you can choose for example to try a uh, coated carbide cutter which will reduce your time uh, right there just recalculate it after making that change. Uh, you can change the roughing strategy. In this case the default is we just use the same cutter uh, but there are a number of other defaults possible including uh, indexable corn cob, uh, high-speed machining tool paths. Let's say for example we choose a corn cob rougher. Okay, you see we've picked the corn cob rougher over here and we're going to follow, follow that up with a, a regular uh, uh, solid end mill and again we've reduced our times by choosing a different uh, roughing strategy. With just this little bit of information at, that's provided here, CAD CAM Wizard recommends for you your tooling, your feeds and speeds, your cut depths and cut widths. Uh, everything you need is here in this recipe to answer every question that your CAM program has for you about feeds and speeds and how you want to perform the operation. Now notice below the times area, this is the area where it's telling you its estimate of how long this is all going to take, uh, there's an area marked DFM. DFM stands for Design for Manufacturing and, and DFM is the study of how to change a design to make it cheaper to manufacture the part. So what we do is we give you some hints down here and in this case it's to say this looks good, don't know how to make it better, but let's change that around. Let's make this a really deep pocket, one inch deep. Well we recalculate, suddenly it's taking a whole lot longer and we now get a DFM hint telling us what's wrong. In this case it says we need to keep our corner radius greater than one-sixth of the pocket depth or we're going to have tool rigidity problems. So let's go ahead and increase the corner radius. We don't care, it's just decorative for this application. Um, there we go. Suddenly we have no problems here and it's because we were able to increase our tool diameter. Now G-Wizard knows what all the standard tool diameters are. It'll let you choose uh, uh, whether you want to stock both Imperial and Metric and a whole host of other things over here on the Options tab. So I can get it down even less if I bump that all the way up to a quarter of an inch. Now we're able to use a half inch end mill and life is good. That gives you some idea of what CAD CAM Wizard can do and how easy it is to use. You can try it out right now by just going to our site www.cncookbook.com and registering for a free 30-day trial of our G-Wizard Machinist Calculator software. I want to leave you on this video with a few quotes um, from both our beginners and the pros. Uh, these are things that they have told us about uh, CAD CAM Wizard since we've released it and you can see they're obviously very happy about it. Be sure to visit our site CNC Cookbook we provide software and information for machinists. Thank you for your time.